Howdy folks, Timber Drifter here. Cruising down Highway 8 West. It's winter time, as you can see from the salt encrusted window. I've been at my place for about 9 or 10 days and I'm heading back to Kansas. I'm going to stop on the way and visit a couple of friends. Staying, uh, staying tonight, maybe tomorrow with a friend here, and then I'm heading to Des Moines to visit I'm a Wrench, so Stephen and Louisa. You'll see those folks, meet them in person. That'd be crazy, meeting some other YouTubers. have this real heavy nostalgic feeling right now. Just everything about this <laughs> this part of this trip right now, I just Rhinelander, Wisconsin is uh, kind of the hub in my area. That's where you go if you need to get you know, that's where the stores are. That's where people go if they need groceries or boots or whatever. A lot of people work there. It's a paper mill town. It's a dirty old paper mill town. Got some road construction going on in front of me here. And I don't know. Passing through there today, I made, this, made sure and stopped in it. Book World, which is a place that I've frequented for since 2005, fall of 2005. It's a bookshop with a huge magazine selection and a pipe and cigar store on the other half of it. When I first moved up there, there was an actual tobacconist that worked in there, an old man. They didn't have a whole lot of stuff, but they had some nice pipes and some mid-range pipes and some basket pipes. And they always had a lot of cops. And they carried, you know, probably six blends from Lane and then the whole McBaron line just about. And a few other things, you know, over the over the counter, all the old over-the-counter blends. And then the cigar humidor was it's pretty small, but uh, I mean, it's a walk-in humidor. But they always had plenty of stuff in there. And then they, in the old days too, they used to have all the uh, unique, expensive foreign cigarettes. Like they used to have Players Navy Cut, Dunhill, and all that kind of stuff. And Cretex and that, all that kind of stuff in there. But over the years, it's pretty much cleared out, and all, all they've really had in there for the last, you know, number of years is pretty much basket pipes and maybe a few Yulee's tobacco blends. But otherwise, it's just the Lane blends in the jar and a few over-the-counter blends. But they sell pipe cleaners, and they they have a few. They always have a few nice pipes in the case, and. things like that just it's what they're I used to bitch about there not being a, a pipe shop where I live or anywhere close by and now the book world's closing there isn't even going to be that and I have uh, I have just this nostalgic feeling for the place and this highway too and this pipe you know I, I mean I've driven this highway several times, but mainly I've, I've hitched this route four times. Not recently, it's been a lot of years ago, but I mean, I just drove past a place back that way where uh, when I was headed back home one time, I'd been over along the Mississippi River and I was hitchhiking back home. Uh, I'd been walking for probably six hours or something, it was hot out. Had a blister on my foot, you know, I was just uncomfortable but still enjoying. And this dude, long haired dude on a Harley pulls up. 
but with brown leathers. You don't see that very often. Usually it's all black. Hey, where are you going? So, well, that way. So, hop on. So, I'll give you a ride at least 40 miles anyway. And turned out he was a dairy farmer. He was just out cruising on his Harley. And it was just that stretch right back there is where he let me off. Just remembering that. Got a ride on the back of a dairy farmer's Harley. Never rode as an adult. That's the only time I've ever ridden on a motorcycle behind a man. <laughs> That's a good ride. Anyway, I just have all these memories along this route. And also, there, most years there's probably, I'm in book world every month, maybe every week a lot of years. Yeah, I'm just going to miss the place. But I got my, my yearly two ounces of Lane 1Q that they call burnt gold. And I never make it through two ounces of 1Q. I mean, I, I'm not a big aromatic smoker. And last spring I threw away logging truck here. That doesn't happen very often. They're usually the ones passing you. Anyway. What's that? There we go. Anyway, I threw away all my little half an ounce old bags of Lane 1 Cuba. Got my got my two ounces. And I don't remember clearly, but I, I'm pretty sure I bought this pipe in there too. Probably in 2005. It's a Nording. I hardly ever smoke this pipe. And I always smoke cherry tobacco in it when I do. So, a little different smoking 1Q in it. It's a super thin pipe. It's actually quite a nice pipe. It's super thin. It's heavily blasted, very thin. Acrylic stem. It's a very light pipe and it has a, a certain style. I had a girlfriend years ago that preferred that I smoke this pipe rather than some of my other ones because she liked the way it looked. The other thing that's changing in Rhinelander is, is I usually have the window open <laughs> smoking, but you can't hear over the air coming in. The other thing that's changing, so if you're in Book World in Rhinelander and you come out, and you look about 28 degrees to your right, on the corner across the block is a place called the House of Spirits. And I think the place has been there for over 60 years. Not exactly sure, but around that. And the guys that own it are in their 80s and they're just, they're done. But on my trips to Rhinelander, which is where I go to get my supplies and my reading materials and stuff like that, I always go to Book World. When I've finished all my shopping, I go to Book World and then I go to House of Spirits and then I go home. side of the highway. Right. Anyway, so that place is closing. I think it's going to be a coffee shop or some shit. And it's just, it's the kind of place you can go in there and you never know what you're going to, you never know what you're going to find. They've had so much stuff in stock for so many years. It's not all that rare to go in there and find, uh, you know, a 15, 20 year old bottle of French or Spanish wine that would sell for a hell of a lot more money somewhere else. Or, you know, kinds of tequila and rum and whiskey that you just don't see anywhere else. 
sometimes there's just the one bottle. That's the kind of place where if they know you, they'll spot you a pack of smokes or a six pack uh, if you don't have the money. Maybe you got the money for the six pack but not the smokes and they'll spot you and yeah, pay me when you got the money here. They know you work at the paper mill. They know you get paid Friday and they'll spot you a 12 pack or whatever. I've seen them do it. many times but the front of the place is pretty rough looking I, I love the way it looks it's just this old rusty steel on the front and a hand painted sign that's like bubble letters off the side of Scooby Doo bus House of Spirits random shit in the front window it's like a cast iron horse it's just it's a junky looking place but it totally fits and it has occupied that corner for like 50 or 60 years and looked they look like that. So when I come back in the spring, two of my favorite places in town are gonna be gone. I thought they're both coffee shops. And then too the feeling of I'd I'd rather be staying at my house rather than going home with my parents for the winter. That was kind of hard for me to leave there knowing I won't be back for a long time. So, leaving my woods and lakes behind my little cabin. Things change though. Things change. Got that heavy feeling of nostalgia. All right. Be careful, folks.